everybody and welcome to another brand new episode of Vanda's Review. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am feeling my black leather punk rock fantasy. Yes, I am very lazy. I'm not wearing any wig. I'm using my real hair. And also this iconic Moschino that I wore for my confessionals on Drag Race Thailand. The reason why I covered one of my eye was because it got infected. That's why you have to be innovative and make use of the things that you have in your luggage. So thank goodness, this was actually a birthday present from Rima S. So thank you. Eventually it came in really handy. Today I have a special. Uh, I keep saying this. Every week is a special guest. Today is no exception. But I am going back to. My girls again from the house of Miss Jo Kim. She is not featured yet, but today finally she's free. She's out of her cage. She's out of the zoo because she works there. No, really, she works there. The most precious girl. That's what I said about Tiara. That's what I said about Opal. But she's one of the fishes queen in the house of Miss Jo Kim. She's always living her female femme fatale fantasy. She is all dressed up. She is all fabulous. Smell the roses and let's welcome Miss Dahlia Rose. Hey guys! I'm back. <laughs> Hello! Finally, 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 finally. Right. You have been busy with work. You have been busy with animals. Play with penguins. Play with yes. flamingo. Yes. Play with cuckoo birds. Play with all the birds. <laughs> How is it like working? And um, wait, you're now at night safari, am I right? No, no, no. I'm working for bird park right now with the birds. Guys. With the birds, Miss Dahlia Rose. Yes, my dad. I think the fans out there, the people that view and watch our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. needs to know who is Dahlia Rose. Pitch yourself, sell yourself to us. What is so special about Dahlia Rose? Well, Dahlia is that kind of girl who you do not want to mess with. But when she smiles, she's friendly. You know? Yes. And she is a fierce queen. She's a lip sync diva. You know, you know, I can turn out some performances. I'm a hustler since the beginning. I'm blessed to be mentored by a lot of queens when I started drag. So yes, it's not an easy life, but she's a, she's that bitch. You know, she she's she, that bitch. Yeah, easy to say she is that bitch. You know, like that girl that you wanna be with uh, uh, and on I'm the bitch. bitch. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the bitch. bitch. Uh, I'm, I'm the bitch. bitch. <laughs> So but wait, yes. there's always this misconception about you that you are always the flirty kind. You are the one that easily getting to know um, <laughs> guys into getting easily getting into relationship. Are you that kind of girl? Um, uh, I think it's just me. <laughs> Uh, okay, be honest, there are a lot of guys who contact me and stuff like that and I am non-binary. I am happy as a guy and as a girl. You know, but most of the times I am as a girl. So I think that's when the attention comes from men is because maybe I'm always dressed up, I put myself looking good, I carry myself well, um, I speak well. And I think that's why most guys are attracted to me even though they are straight. Um, but yeah, I think it's how you carry yourself. If you want to, you know, get to know someone, then carry yourself well and things will come falling into your petals, just like that. <laughs> so you have experienced relationships with straight men before, am yeah. I right? Yes, correct. What advice do you have to give if there is someone out there who's actually going through the same situation, like dating a straight guy? You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I because like people like us, you know, like yeah. straight men are attracted to us because they thought we are like, like a sex object, but apparently we're not, mm -hmm. you know? So what advice do you have for that? I think you have to be upfront, especially straight guys, if you're dating them, because they are technically straight, but if they are attracted to you and then you are being upfront with them and saying that you're still a guy after all this is out and if they are willing to accept then it's good but if they are nitpicky and like they say like oh no you have to be as a girl and blah 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 then it goes to show that they just want this you know, they don't want the human side of you so always yeah. keep true to yourself and make sure they don't step over you and make sure they're okay with you beyond all this this is just a facade, a character uh, uh, for me, it's yeah. almost like every day. <laughs> like, but yes. <laughs> I have to agree with that. Yes. But yes, they have to be comfortable with who you are truly in a natural state. You know, because we are not like transgender. You know, we don't live twenty four seven like this. You know, if they want something like that, then they should find something like that. You know, don't find something like this. Right. 
but you have to be upfront and stay true to yourself and do not change yourself for no one else. That's all. Yes, that's such a great advice. I agree 100% to your advice. Yeah. Yes. Queen, yes, God, yes to the flaming ghost, yes, peacock. Yes. Okay, we are at episode 617,219. Yeah, that's a lot. I, I, I don't know what episode we are on, but like, oh, it's Rufus a new episode. Drag Race, yes. Season 13. And there are still how many queens left? There's Dinali, Yutika, Simone, Dina Burner, uh -huh. Rose. Uh huh. You think okay, maybe like six, seven, six, queens seven queens. Like. Yes, correct. I don't know what's going on with RuPaul's head. I was just going through season one. I'm like, oh my god, this is like so much better, so much simpler, and it's so much more. Raw. No, yes, yeah, it's, oh it's my god. Oh. I'm having my <laughs> Not again. Somebody Not hit the again. light. So I don't know what the hell is going on with RuPaul. I don't know why I this is so long. It, it, it becomes too much of a reality TV when it was to me when I was watching season 1 and 2 it's like the real real you know everyone yeah. was real and it was like the realest yes and it was drag and this time it's all, all about how to make it social media wise how to you know get audience to watch me you know I think it's a good thing like times are changing but I still think that the realest of the realest is still the best like season 1 and 2 like drag race style and season 2 as well but exactly. I don't know why they are not promoting so True. shut up <laughs> okay, I take it that you have watched season 13. Yep. Which queen are you rooting for? I am actually rooting for Simone. Yes, mm -hmm. she's yes. my favorite queen. I think she is current. She yep. can serve a look, but she can perform. That's the main thing. There must be a story to your look, to your performance, to whatever it is. It's not about looking pretty and shutting down the runway, you know. Because we are this we are selling performance. You know, even though we are wearing something, we're selling performance. So I think she does it very well. And she's very strict she's to her culture, which I really love. She it. sold yeah. it, yeah. She sold it to all of us, and yeah. we are gagged. We are gagged <laughs> every time. Um, don't mind me. I'm really tired. I only had two hours of <laughs> sleep today, but there's no excuses. Yes, make if it work. If I can do it, so can we all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy the past few days. I don't know uh, what's gonna happen uh, with this episode. So let's watch. Yes. Are you ready, Daria? Yes. Let's go. Let's watch this. I'm excited. I haven't uh, watched it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I love the Paris Hilton. Oh my god. Yes, her Paris Hilton was amazing. Amazing. So good. You think I? Ooh 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, that look. I love that message. Oh my god, it's so good. I think this is how you need to use this platform to use your voice to reach out to the people out there, to send out the message. To this yeah, message. I, I think that is very important, like in drag especially, because we are like sort of political icons for LGBT. Who do you think is gonna be eliminated today for uh, in this uh, episode? Denali or Rosé? Eight oh, of wow. you in episode 10. Goodness. Oh my god, is it the twin challenge? Uh oh. That you have to make over each other? <gasps> it sounds like it. What? Work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Yeah. Okay, like, what do you think? Like, would you go to a psychic medium? Like, have you ever experienced something like that? I mean, life. I've had, I've had my friends who um, did their like reading on my palm, uh -huh, or, uh -huh. like reading off my palm. Then they'll yeah. tell me like what's gonna happen, or like they're reading the parts. Like they told me the past, and some of it telly, like some of it are real, some of it I think they're just making it up. But I'm like, oh, yes, yes, it happened. <laughs> yeah, but some of it are true, which is like, oh, like I mean, I didn't really share it with you. Like, how do you know? You know. So, yeah. Oh my god, I've never been to one. I think I should. I want to know yeah. what kind of boys I'm going to get in the future, you know. Lagi! Aku dah cakap, jangan kawan dengan dia. Kau masih nak kawan dengan dia. Continue. Okay. Oh, that is very freaky, I cannot. I don't know whether I want to believe this, whether yeah. it's true. <laughs> what? 
What the hell? RuPaul, this is so lame, okay? What a filler. Just a filler. Dang! It's a transformation <gasps> challenge. Yay. Oh my god. It's not easy, yeah, by the way. It's yeah. not easy. Yeah. But I, I think this is yes. this is gonna be the best. Uh-huh. No, please no. What? Do we have the flames it's a again? Red and orange again, yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I, I hate like it. it. Oh my god, Rose, not again. You're having ruffles at your arms again. And now it's cable tie. It's another ruffle moment. Oh no. Uh oh. What is that? <laughs> There you go. Yes. This is what I'm always saying yeah. about appropriation. Correct. If it comes from a place of love, at the end of the day, it's your intention. Yes, it's always the intention, like what you are portraying and you're not making fun of it. You're actually bringing it on another level, you know, respecting it. Oh, you have to practice your walk. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, Ebony Enchantress. I love that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Oh hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 woo, woo. You think I you think I yes <laughs> oh She's god. so animated. Yeah she is. Oh no. Among all the walk. Yeah. With the remaining queens, I don't like Godmik's walk. Yeah, God, Godmik doesn't have that walk. Adoy, what eyebrow is that? <laughs> it's too high. It's too high. I think that's the mistakes of doing on someone else's face is we always draw the eyebrows too high. Correct. Yeah. I like the mentality that, you know, it, you know that it's going to provoke, it's controversial, it's going to yeah. stir up. Um, conversation with people and people are gonna either love it or hate it I love that and I think you just go with the flow just follow your intuition follow whatever that you feel yeah like it's your, always what, whatever breaking, that your heart says yeah breaking the boundaries every single time like do it just do it you know hey COVID <laughs> hey not sanitary Okay, runway time! Yay! Finally! Finally, it's happened to me! Let's go! Work! Oh my god! Oh my god! I want this gown! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh work! Oh work! Okay, so the first two queens that we have on the runway for this makeover challenge, we have Tina Burner and Rosé. What do you think? I think uh, Rosé carried Tina Burner well. The character was there and the outfit is truly Tina Burner. Like from a yep. classy outfit Correct. to the leatherette kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Tina Burner as Rosé, I only feel like only the hair is Rosé. Yeah. 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 The outfit doesn't say Rosé. Yeah. I feel that Rosé sell it better as Tina Burner than Tina mm. Burner as Rosé because I think Tina Burner fashion is very camp she always have these really big dresses, big costume I mean besides the colours of orange, red and oh. yellow but this is like a total Tina Burner signature, Tina Burner brand so I think Rosé did a very good job, she had fun with it yeah. she was really campy, she really sold herself as Tina Burner whereas Tina Burner her dress that she wore Okay, like I totally get it I totally would know that's Rosé's dress Because she always have this signature dress of something coming out from her arms But that dress is hideous I, Yeah, I don't, I don't like I it at all I hate it It's hideous, it's ugly For character wise, like Tina Burner coming down the runway I feel that she wasn't really selling it Yeah, the character wasn't there yeah. at all Like I still yeah. see Tina Burner in a Rosé yes. wig That's all Yes, mm -hmm. yeah Oh well, let's go up to the next one. Alright. Wow, I love the dress. I love the dress too. Olivia mm. Lux playing as Denali Denali as Olivia Lux. What say you? What say you? What okay. Say you? I think Olivia Lux was stunning in that whole outfit. Mm. 
um, maybe the walk was a bit iffy because of the skating thing. Yeah. But I don't think she needs yeah. to do it because that whole outfit represents Dinali. Like, yeah. well, hands down. And then Dinali as Olivia Lux, that dress! <gasps> that dress! Just that dress. That dress is stunning. I think I she, she carried love. yeah, she carried Olivia Lux very well. You know, I, I, I felt the vibes, the opulence, the classiness, you know, all of that, the fantasy, I live it. Both of them are so good. I love it. I thought Dinali did a very great job doing Olivia Lux and that gown is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's so, oh my god, I want to wear it. You can tell that it's um, Olivia Lux gown, like she owned that piece but Dinali sold it to me as Olivia Lux. But I don't feel the same way as Olivia Lux. Like, really? I thought she, yeah, like the dress, yes, you get it, it's Dinali's. Yeah. Okay. Because I've seen Dinali wearing that hair before on the runway. Yes. But I don't see that Dinali's personality. Oh, the I isms, yes. That. Yeah, that's why I was saying the walk yeah. was a bit iffy, like something was not right. Yeah. But the whole outfit, physically, appearance wise, yes, it was Dinali. I mean, she was a little bit awkward, like when she was yeah. skating or Ish. gliding or something. <laughs> it's like she was like, um, are you looking for your coins? Yeah, I think if Girl. it was me, I would rather like, hey, Dinali, like, teach me how to skate. Like, I need to skate on that runway. Yeah, like, might I need as to. well, you just learn how to skate and yeah. then you skate on the runway, you know? Just do it. Or maybe they're not the same size. Oh, maybe. But make it work. Make it work. That's yes. my line. Let's uh -huh. go. Moving on. What in the world? Ooh. What? Oh my god! Yes, you Oh my up. god! Yes! She nailed the walk! Yes. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow, god. that was stunning. Okay, first Dahlia, let's talk about the outfit first. Okay. What mm -hmm. do you think about Simon's outfit? I think Simone outfit as Utica, like I think Utica can choose a better outfit mm. because I know she has amazing looks. And I know she. But do you, do you do you understand the the message behind it? I mean, you can see the muscles, and then like the yeah. the, the, the the skin is like loose, and then you're like you know mm. in it, and then your head is like a flower. You know, there's a story to yeah. it. I get it. Mm. But I think if I were Utica, I would choose another outfit that maybe Simone can carry even more better for her. And then as Utica okay. as Simone, hands down, just yes. so good. The walk, yes. the vibe, the face, the, yes. the, the 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 especially the walk, especially like that walk she, with Simone's walk. She yes, yeah. she was selling it. It's like you have to have Simone to teach you how to run with to get the yes. walk down. Correct. It's because I I love Utica. Like mm. she's actually the first two queens that I was actually rooting for. She and Oliver Lux. Mm -hmm. But it's just very cringy whenever I see her walking down the <laughs> runway it's because she's too quirky and sometimes yeah. it just get really awkward but this, like, yeah, my the, perception just changed Just stunning, if she, can, if she carries through on moving forward, I think she should bring this energy 24-7 yes. And then that yes, face yes, is yes. like, the makeup on her face literally the changed attitude, everything like, she, I love it. she got this brand new attitude, you know, like about yeah. her, like suddenly she's got this like swag. Yeah. Is that what you say, swag? Yeah, that swag, yeah, the vibe. Like, yeah. Girl, like where, where, who is, what, who is this? Oh, he, yes. It's not the, oh, 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 no, it's not like that at all. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm Utica Queen, I am the Queen from yes. Utica, you know, that kind of thing. Alright, correct. Right. Yes, back to whatever that Simone was wearing mm. as Utica. I actually love the message, the concept, the narrative of it. Uh -huh. But yes, what you said is true, like it needs to be another outfit which is much more a stronger look yeah. or something elevated yes. in that look. Because it feels yes. like some makeshift outfit. It's not complete somehow. Yeah. But the story is there. I mean, Simone did sell the story but the outfit really is too strong of, of, of a turn off. Alright, we have Godmik mm -hmm. and Candy Muse. I think Godmik really really flopped in this one. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't I don't feel yes. the walk, I don't feel the Candy Muse isms. She's just trying too hard. I mean Yes, oh my god. Oh too my god. hard. Yes. She was trying too hard and it gets to a point where I cringe. It's cringy, a yes, bit. correct. Yeah. And then but like, girl. Even the outfit is like uh I don't see Candy Muse. I I in my head Candy Muse is like this 
bougie silk. Yes. It's either she go bougie, like really bougie, or she go like really street style. Yeah. Like really. So I don't see you know, any like Candy Muse isms in that outfit. Yeah. But and then Candy Muse as Godmate. Godmate. He was almost there. I mean, Godmate like a show body, correct? And then that yeah. white face, correct? And that clownish kind of vibe. But I think it was almost there. But not there. Yeah. yeah. I thought the outfit should be a different outfit. Like, I wasn't really... I, I'm not really into that outfit. I thought there was a choice. Yeah. It's a choice, darling. Yeah. It's a choice. Mm. It's a choice, darling. Yeah. <laughs> but God make like what you said... Eh, mm -hmm. Suddenly, what accent is this? <laughs> uh, like what you said, God make okay. <laughs> Got me, like when she came down the runway, I thought she was like really trying too hard. I thought she was really like, instead of um, boarding Candy Muse, it's like she's just really angry. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do know that Candy is a, sometimes can be that angry, very dramatic, very mm. loud. But, you know, that presentation as being Candy wasn't. Yeah, it was just too exaggerated. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. It's just too much. To me, my bottom. Group will be Godmake and Candy Muse as well as Dinali and Olivella. See, I think I'll go the same with you. Yes, correct. And I feel that the winner should be like Rose and um, Tina Burner. Oh, wait, Utica is doing good too. No, I think it's Utica and Simone. Yeah. Both of them will win. Yeah, because... Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, it's stones, babe. Well, at least it's stones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Word. Word. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Preach. Yes. Yes, finally. Yes. Okay, I think they're gonna win. I think they're gonna win. Yes. What? I disagree with the judges. Yeah. Oh no. Here we go. Shit. Oh shoot, sure. I hate this question. Ooh. Yes, here we go. Yes, Candy Mew, say it how you say it. But she can, to me, she can convey that comment yeah. in another way. You know? Yeah, maybe she should have toned it down a bit. In another tone. Yeah. 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 Yay! They won, they well, won. I'm happy they win. Yeah. yeah. What are you rooting for? Olivia or Dinali? I think Olivia is a performer, so she is gonna kill the lip sync. I, I strongly Dinali believe. is also a performer, so. Yeah, but she's, the, a dancing queen. she's a bit like. Yeah, the dancing queen. Come on, come on, Olivia. Okay, I'm rooting for Olivia. Yeah, same here. Let's go. Oh, I love this song. Let's go, baby. Yes, Olivia. Show them. Yep, yep. Oh. Uh, it's a close call, though. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, that's sad. I got a feeling people are gonna start hating on Olivia. Mm. I am so unhappy. Really sad. So you're unhappy? So you think it's not fair? I mean, based, like, judging from my point of view, like, Denali and Olivia still looks, the branding is still on point. Yeah, I thought the same thing too. I don't yeah. know what the judges is thinking. Maybe they didn't really sell as the person's character. But okay. other than that, yeah, I thought the branding was there. Correct. So I don't really get it. I don't know, but like, again, again, it's reality TV show, guys. So, yeah. But I'm so happy, though, that Simone and Utica won yes. this challenge. Like, I thought they did amazing. Uh, now, my faith is restored with Utica Queen. Yeah, I same here. I hope brings it next week. Yeah, mm. whatever challenge next week is, I think if Utica brings the same energy to this, she is gonna go top three, 100% hands down. <laughs> Confirm. Yes, yes, the queen from Utica. Yes, the kind of boom, boom, boom. 
more energy left yes i want to oh say god. thank you oh my god you see even my battery is going flat you know i just want to say thank you for coming into this episode for the movie episode 10 of rupaul's drag race season 13. yes thank you thank for you. having me yes i know you're busy i know you're you're really busy with work and i just started working as well so we're both exhausted yes but we got to review this to Keep it going for you guys out there on YouTube. Whoever that's been watching and following our channel, I thank you. We thank yes, you. Yes, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the likes, <laughs> all the comments. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. And also, I am broke. <laughs> I, need, I need to get new costumes. So. If you're feeling generous, if you have enjoyed our past episodes or Vanda's review or any of our slumber party episodes or our vlogs or our fit fat fun and you feel like tapping the queens, you can tip us at the link below. And right there. Paul. <laughs> so you want to tell Dahlia where can they find you on Instagram? You can find okay. me at Miss Dahlia Rose at Instagram. You can follow me and if you see me on any social dating apps, just say hi. <laughs> She's sick girl. <laughs> and also do not forget to like, comment, comment share, share, subscribe, subscribe and turn on, on the your notification, notification button. button. Thank you, Dahlia. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, Mother.